Hello everyone, Cello of Orion here. Today it is the time for Space News Episode 7. <laughs> Basically, I don't think this episode was coming up as rapid as the other episodes like 4, 5, and 6. But now we're here and I think this one took a couple of weeks for me to think of events. That's why. So let's start things off in the outer reaches of the solar system. More specifically, Jupiter. So let's talk about a spacecraft that is still at Jupiter right now, Juno. So Juno, recently, it has taken some pretty detailed pictures of Ganymede as it was flying by. Basically, it took some pictures of the craters, um, surface, mounds, and pretty much just kind of like what it looks like today. They were pretty interesting for us to see. And later on in 2025, so just a few years ahead, basically Juno is going to plunge into Jupiter's atmosphere like Cassini did in Saturn in 2017. But you may be wondering, why is Juno going to do this? Why is NASA planning on plunging into Jupiter? The reason? to protect its moons from earthly microbes. They specifically also want to try to protect Europa, the smallest of the Galilean moons from earthly microbes. So that is why they're trying to make it go out in a bang, like Cassini did with Saturn. So yeah, that's Juno. So yeah. Yesterday, there was the last supermoon of the year, the strawberry moon. Basically, this moon signifies of how Native Americans gather up a certain amount of strawberries for summer. And actually, it is starting to become a pretty big thing that Chris, yesterday only, Krispy Kreme has made their donut literally based off as the strawberry moon. I thought this was honestly pretty interesting, and if you're wondering if I got it, yes I did, and I swear it was so good. <laughs> it was very good. So yeah, now let's talk about one more topic, and then after this we will talk about some astronomical events for the summer. It has been 30 years since NASA has sent probes to Venus, a hellish hot world where it was basically said that there would be no life since the surface temperature well really the temperature of the planet itself is just around like close to a thousand degrees so venus in between 2028 and 2030 is going to get two new missions there one of them is called da vinci plus where it will go down under the surface and measure well, what I mean is under the atmosphere and measure the atmospheric pressure. And there is another probe that will map out the planet's surface. So it's going to take a little bit before they launch into space and go to Venus. And actually, speaking of Venus, the Parker Solar Probe, which is a mission to the sun, you may think it's impossible, but they're going at a right distance from the sun. Basically, um... The Parker Solar Probe passed Venus's ionosphere and started recording some sounds of what it sounds like there. So, uh, yeah. Now let's talk about some astronomical events for the summer of 2021. So the categories for, astron for the astronomical events for the summer are meteor showers, planets in opposition, the great elongations of Mercury, full moons, and planetary conjunctions. I'll be using the article from Starwalk, too, to, for this reference. Sorry, I'm, I did not mean to say two twice. <laughs> anyway, so for meteor showers, on July 8th through 29th, the Delta Aquarian meteor shower will begin, and on August 12th through the 13th, the Perseid meteor shower will begin. For planets in opposition, on August 2nd, Saturn will be in opposition, and on August 20th, Jupiter will be in opposition. This will be happening as they're in retrograde. On September 14th, 
Neptune will be in opposition. The Great Elongations of Mercury. On July 5th, Mercury is at the greatest western elongation, and on September 15th, Mercury is at the greatest eastern elongation. For full moons, yesterday there was the super, the super strawberry moon. On August 22nd, there will be a blue moon. It's not a super moon, but it's a blue moon. And September 20th, the harvest moon, also known as the blood moon. And finally, planetary, planetary conjunctions. July 13th, conjunction of Venus and Mars, and August 19th, conjunction of Mercury and Mars. There are other astronomical events that are going to happen through the summer of 2021, but I'll feature them in another video. Since, I mean, already, there seems like a lot of stuff that's happening. And eventually, the moon will turn into a waning gibbous, and it will sweep by under the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn. So yeah, I'll eventually show you guys that, too, and some other astronomical events. I'll make an entire video right about that. But right now, this concludes Space News Episode 7. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in Space News Episode 8. Peace.